Hi, everybody. I'm Archana Ayer. I'm a DOD postdoctoral fellow in Andrea Califano's lab. And uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you our progress on this project to identify master regulators of um, breast cancer subtypes. So breast cancer, it's one term, but it has many entities. It's a heterogeneous group of diseases that are characterized by distinct molecular aberrations. And traditionally in the clinic, breast cancer is classified based on three independent receptors, the estrogen receptor and the progesterone receptor, which are the hormone receptors, and the human epidermal growth factor receptor, HER2. So here's a um, brief classification of the breast cancer subtypes. As you can see, majority of the uh, subtypes are luminal. Yeah, this is not a strong point, uh, but I'm hoping you can see this. Majority of the subtype is luminal, and the prevalence for the luminal subtype is about 60% uh, in the total tumors. Uh, the HER2 subtype, which is addicted to the HER2 gene, is about 10 to 15%. And both the luminal and the HER2 subtype have targeted therapies because we know the oncogene addiction points for these tumors. However, the triple negative subtype, uh, which is also called as, uh, it is defined by the absence of receptors. So it is estrogen, progesterone, and HER2 receptor negative subtype. And this subtype forms about 20% of the um, can you guys hear me? Yeah, okay. Sometimes I hear an echo and sometimes I don't. Uh, the triple negative subtype is about 20% of the, uh, uh, the prevalence. And we don't know the tumor dependencies on this, for this subtype. And so the goal of this project is to understand what are the transcription factors or regulators for the triple negative subtype. Uh, this subtype also happens to be one of the most highly proliferative of the um, different subtypes in breast cancer. And um, eventually, hoping that we understand the tumor dependencies, we can uh, target appropriate therapies for this. So given the uh, gene expression analysis and the power associated with this, recently we've been able to classify the uh, breast cancer landscape into, uh, as a molecular classification and understand what are the dependencies of these different subtypes. So as you can see in the blue here is the luminal subtype. The pink is the HER2 subtype. And the triple negative subtype has about 80% of population, which is distinctly called the basal-like subtype. 80% of these uh, triple negative tumors are basal-like. Also, a large number of the basal-like are P53 mutated. And as I mentioned earlier, they are highly proliferative. So our goal with this project is to identify master regulators of the basal and the luminal subtypes in breast cancer. And our hypothesis is that there are transcription factors that differentially control gene expression in the basal and the luminal subtype. And these are subtype-specific addiction points. So the approach we are taking is to compare the basal tumors to the luminal tumors in independent breast cancer data sets to identify these transcriptional regulators for each of these subtypes. One point I want to mention here is that uh, the normal breast tissue in this case is rich in adipose, uh, um, adip adip adipocytes. And so what happens is uh, majority of the tumors that are developed are epithelial in origin. So when you compare it to the normal breast tissue, you tend to compare between two different lineages because of this mixture of adipocytes. And so uh, we decided we'll compare the two tumors, basal and luminal, so that we keep the lineage constant. Okay, let me explain to you what we mean by this cancer bottleneck or master regulators. There are changes in the genetic landscape, um, which is defined by driver mutations or um, amplifications and deletions. Some of them might be passenger mutations, and we have no way of knowing whether they are a direct causal effect or not. However, there is a distinct tumor gene signature which defines how the tumor has adapted to the change that has occurred or the change that has caused uh, the tumor in the first place. And so what we think that the bottleneck is the set of regulators that control the new tumor gene expression profile or that control the adaptation of the tumor. 
And this is what we hope to identify for the basal subtype. And um, I also want to say that in the Califano lab, we have developed several um, algorithms that allow us to dissect different layers of the